Hey there Budgie Peeps! Welcome back to another episode of Budgie Peeps. <laughs> Today I'm back here because I want to do a bit of um, end of the month cash stuffing. And this money I've got in my hands here is the money that Hubby has earned just purely through his pay rises over the years that we've, we, we don't spend and also his overtime. Over time this month, he's earned £276.50, so I've rounded that down to £275. And his pay rises have added up to £200, well, £197.36, but we've rounded that up to £200. So here today, we've got £475 to cash stuff. Wow, <laughs> that is an amazing amount of money, isn't it? So there we are. Marvin's been helping me. <laughs> Coming out the way, Marv. He's a lush. He's a lush. He's been helping me stage my photographs. So popping back over there. Here we go. Right then. So what happens with this money then? Let's count it up first. Let's count it up together, shall we? There's Daisy. Look. Looking on. <laughs> Let's count this together. We've got 20, 40, 60. Let's start that again. Let's start that again. It's really difficult. These are slipping notes. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. And they're still slippy. Can you see? That's the first 100. 100. 20, 40, 60, 80, 200. 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 310, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 400, and 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 75. 475 pounds is what we've got to cash stuff today. So we'll put that over here in the money tray. So right off the top of my husband's wages, whenever he gets paid, straight away we take £200 and that £200 goes into our golden ticket envelope, which is here. And that golden ticket envelope is basically all of the pay rises that he's had over the years. Every time, every year that comes, if he gets a pay rise, we put that pay rise in this envelope, whether it's 37p an hour a pound an hour whatever it is it goes straight into this envelope so that's what we're going to do today well, let's have a look okay last month what happened was we put his 200 pound into the envelope as you can see let me show you we put his 200 pound into the envelope and then we took out this money which went towards our holiday because that's how we fund our holiday and at the moment we're trying to fund our cruise so here we go we're going to put another 200 pounds into this envelope let me just get my pen yep let's take the 200 home here so that's two four six eight 100, 2, 4, 6, 8, and I'll have a couple of 10s, 9, 10, so that's £200, and we're going to put it in our envelope, and again, this is going towards our cruise, so I'll write the date Hubby got paid, which is the 28th of February, 23, and there's £200 going into this envelope, which gives us a balance of £200. Okay, so ordinarily, were we not paying for um, an intimate cruise, this money would stay in this wallet until such time as we come round to our holiday and we had to pay the money out. So we're at that point now where we're having to pay the money out. So I've got my travel wallet, which is here. 
and what we're going to do is we're going to transfer the money from here into my travel wallet so um There. So currently we're four pound overdrawn on this section, so that needs updating. Um, we need petrol money to take us to and from our holiday, but um, yeah, I'm going to fund that. I'm going to fund that. I'm going to put the diesel money in, which we've estimated to be a hundred pounds. So let's put that hundred pounds in there straight away. So that's two, four, six, eight, one hundred. So that's 100 going in to the diesel money to get us to and from our holiday destination. That's just to get us to the port because we've got to catch a ship. We've got to catch a cruise ship in Southampton. So, and we're coming a long way because we live in the Midlands. So I put the date my husband got paid, which is the 28th of February, 23. I don't know if you can see me doing that. Uh, description. Deposit and that's a hundred pounds, which means that a hundred pounds is in there now um, to pay for that fuel for our holiday. And then what we've also got to pay for is to have our pets looked after. There's the money in the, the fuel. And the the cost of having our pets looked after, well, first of all, we've had to pay for thirty-four pounds for my um our dog to be vaccinated against kennel cough so that he can actually go in the kennels. So we've got £100 left to stuff in um, this particular stuffing, um, of which £34 is going into there. So let's have a look at that. So we've got, uh, if I put that 40 because I can't put 34 so I'm going to put 40 into there to cover the kennel cough vaccination and any change from there I will transfer across into the next envelope so I can mark off that the uh, there is 30 oh, well I put 40 pound in there because that's how much I've put in isn't it put 40 pound into there and what we've got left is 60 pounds which is then going towards what I've got for next uh, Oh, it's got to go in the same envelope, hasn't it? It's got to go in the envelope because we've got to pay for the, the pets to go into kennels. That's uh, our cat, Magic, and our dog, Kobe, has got to go into kennels. So the cost of putting them into kennels for that um, just over a week is £300. So the money that's left over in this wallet, the money that's left over here, sorry, 20 40 £50, £60, is going to join that 40 in there. And that's going to go towards funding the kennel payment. So we need to carry on stuff in the envelope because we've got to put some more money in there to cover the kennels. So at the moment, there is £100 in this envelope. So that's £100 in the envelope. So when that 34 comes out for the, for the kennel cough vaccination... That'll leave me £66 in this envelope. So to fully fund this envelope then, I will need another £234 to go in here to pay for the kennels. So that's that envelope done. Sorry, that's that binder done. So I'll pop that back there. And I'll just update this tracker to say that it went in, but it also came out again. There's my red pen. A long-winded way of doing it, but there's method in my madness. <laughs> so £200 come out, which leaves a zero balance in there again. And that was on the 28th of the 2nd, 23. There you go. So that's the cruise that's coming up in April. We're just covering the final costs um, to make sure that that gets fully funded. In there so that's his pay rise money done and dusted then is overtime money which is what's left over what we do is we divide it into two piles so there is 275 here 
so that's obviously not going to divide into two piles so I'm going to do 70 2 4 6 70 there 10 20 30 40 50 60 70 there and 10 20 30 40 50 60 70 80 90 110 20 35 so this 135 which is meant to be half of his overtime money is meant to go into our financial freedom fund which funds my husband's retirement for when he's going to retire so because at the moment we've not fully funded our emergency fund, this money's going in there until we've reached the £1,000 target for our emergency fund. So £135 today is going in our emergency envelope. Let's open that up. Let's have a look what we've currently got. So we've already got some money in here. There's £24.55 in here currently. We did have £160 in here last month. But I used some of it to get my new desk. So that had to be done because it was um, a bit of a spend. <laughs> not not something I regret doing. Obviously, I'd love to have this uh, emergency fund fully funded. But having somewhere to work in the warm is very important as well because I don't want to get poorly. So that's why I took the money out of the emergency fund. So now we've got another 135 going in today. So let's do that. So that's the 28th of the 2nd, 23, he got paid £135 into the emergency fund. I don't know if you can see me doing that. So we've got £24 and 55p plus 135 equals 159 55. Now I don't know whether I've rounded that up to 160, so let's have a look. I might have rounded it down, but let's have a look. So there should be 24.55 in here, so that's 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. So I've obviously rounded it up. Plus the 135 that we've got here. So we should have 160 now, so that's 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 110, 20, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. So that is perfect. So that £160 is going in that slider, like so, with the tracker. And it's going in the little wallet. And it's going into the emergency fund envelope which is there, but ah, oh, that's done for a month. There we go. So that leaves us with two piles of 70. So what happens with this other half of my husband's overtime money is I divide it into two piles, which I have done here. Um, because he's earned the overtime money, he deserves to benefit from the overtime money. So this 70 pounds, is going towards his trike fund which you can see here this big tin is saving up for his trike so we're going to put 70 pounds in this tin today for his trike i'm just going to tip you up so that you can see it going in don't put it upside down <laughs> so there's oh, i don't want to hit them one Three twenty pounds, that's sixty pounds, plus a ten pound note. There we are. So that is seventy pounds in his trike fund today. So let's fill in his tracker. Pop that back up there, out the way. Oh, stay. <laughs> If that doesn't fall let's fill in his tracker let's move you over this side so you can see what's going on there we go move you over gently <laughs> and have a look down here this is where his tracker's at okay 
Okay, so I'll move this over here a bit. Let's just move that money out of the way for a second. So we're saving up for his trike. Let's have a look. His trike fund is here. There we go. So we put £70 in today. And each one of these numbers represents £20. So let's just fill in here the £70 that we've put in today. Which then gives him £108.11 plus £70 equals, gives him £178.11 in his trike fund so far. His target is £2,000. So divide that by 20. He can colour in eight numbers. So we can do another three today. So we'll circle. I think I used my gold. I may have used my bronze, but we use gold. We'll circle another three numbers today. There we go. Done. And when we've got all the way down to our £120 notes, there we go, we will have £2,000. So that's what we're working on. Quarter of his overtime money every month goes into there. That's done. So then what happens is... I'm also having a quarter of the overtime money. Let me just find my tracker. <laughs> Where is it? Where is it? Because I'm saving up for, if I can find it, if I can find it. Got a few things going on there. But at the moment, I'm saving up for a car, a disability car. But I need one for my wheelchair going in and out of the back. So this £70 that we've got here, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80 pounds is going to join the other £70. Is it £70 or £80? I think it was £80 that we put in last month into the new car fund, which is there. So let's count what we've already got. That's 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80 pound from last month and another 70 from this month. So in total, we'll have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, and 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. 150 pounds in the saving up for a disability car. In there. And that is the, um, as you can see there, that is the savings binder I've got. So let's stand that there a second. We'll write that on this tracker that I've put £70 in this week, this month rather. Um, that makes £150 in there. Each one of these balls is worth £100. Um, so my goal here is £2,800. Um, there's 30 balls. If I fill each ball in, then I'll have £3,000, so I can go for that, can't I? A little bit higher than my original goal. So, if I've got £150 in here, I can circle one ball. Yeah, hey! So there you go. There's one done. Just 29 more to go. That's one and a half I've done, really, isn't it? because it's 150 but I won't colour him another one until we've got another full £100 but there's the first one done so we're on our way <laughs> so that's that that is um, those trackers and those uh, stuffings done um, I wanted to talk to you about the house insurance uh, that we've got coming up it's due next month I think it's the 27th I put it into next month, but it's the 27th of March. It's actually due, so it's coming up at the end of this month, around about payday time. 
They contacted me because they said that my renewal figure is £208.69 for this year. That's for house and contents insurance, that's building and buildings and contents insurance. So I give them a ring and I said, you know what? I've shopped around and I found it cheaper, which I did. I had a look on comparethemarket.com or somewhere like that. Did find it a bit cheaper. So they agreed to reduce the price for me for the same level of cover this year to £177.39 to retain me as a customer. So it is worth giving these companies a call to see what they can do on the price. And there we go. £31.30 is what I saved this year just by making that phone call that lasted about 10 minutes. So 10 minutes work, £31.30. So that's a good wage really, isn't it? <laughs> so give them a call. Don't just accept the renewal price. Always phone them up and try and negotiate it. Right then, um, I'm going to come back at the um, end of the month because that's when I get paid. My money um, goes in at a different time to my husband's money. So his money pays all the um, direct debits out of the bank and obviously these, these major sinking funds. And my money pays all the incidental sinking funds. So at the end of the month, I will come back and I will fill in all of these. So the ones that are already in green are direct debits that are going out, have already gone out of the bank. And um, the rest are due to go out of the bank or due to be stuffed as a sinking fund. And that can wait until I get paid. So that's what I'll do. I'll come back and I'll do those as soon as I've had my wage come in. So until now, until then, I will say happy budgeting, people. See you all again soon. Ciao for now.